Hi there, it's Leslie with a really pretty ocean themed card for you. I did some embossing on vellum and it, we also have a little piece of the whale done. Now these will vary so yours might not look exactly like mine, that's okay. All right, so we have a balmy blue base that's four and a quarter by 11. And just fold it on the score line. Okay. Then we have the Pacific Point, which is five and a quarter by four. Okay. Then I cut the vellum just a smidge smaller. It might not even be three and three quarters by five, but I think it's pretty close. I think I just, um, I just wanted a little bit of that dark blue to show through because um, I liked the border and also because it made the embossing pop. See how it blends right in there, but that helps it. So it needed that dark behind it, okay? Now, before you go messing with your adhesive, okay, this can go, the Pacific Point can go on your base, that's no problem, but adhesive does show through vellum. Not as much when, um, when it is embossed like this, it's not quite as noticeable. The shadows and things help hide it. But what you're going to want to do is get all of your stamping and stuff done and then kind of arrange things on your card front before you stick anything down. So we'll just let that embossed piece sit over there. We'll let our Pacific Point Square sit over there. Then I have the seahorse from Seaside Notions. Okay, we have the matching Pacific Point ink. And we'll just get our little seahorse right in there. There he is, in the water. Pacific Point might need to be re-inked, but that's okay. Then we have a piece of some basic white. Now you'll have a, you'll have this punch shape, I think. You might have something else. You might have the timeless label. I might have gotten them mixed up when I was sorting last night. I don't know. At any rate, all of the um, greetings in Seaside Notions, and there's with gratitude, thinking of you, happy birthday, here's to you. Um, they all fit in in these label punches. Okay, so whatever label punch you have, if you have this stamp set, you're good to go. If you don't, you might want to get it, especially if you're a beach person, um, as this one is retiring as of May 3rd. Okay. So, we have this. We'll take the Storytime label punch. That is also retiring. I did kind of focus on the things that will no longer be with us, just so you could have a chance to get them if you wanted them. Okay. I don't think I actually... All right, so... Now, what we're going to do is add our designer series paper to the Pacific Point. Okay. Then I'm going to just place this here, okay? Just kind of get it where I want it because I want to make sure that I like where I'm putting this but also that it has room and I actually could and may need to. It, it's okay. This is so wiggly and stuff. If you feel like it works better sideways, that's okay. And I, because this feels more up and down, I can actually take and cover that piece up. Okay. And I think 
I can still fit. Yep, I can. And that also helps to disguise those. So if you can make yours fit the other way and you like the look, you certainly can make it go this way as well. Okay, actually, I kind of like that too. Oh, decisions, decisions. So now though, what I can do is now that I know where I'm gonna put that, I think I am gonna go this way actually. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and get my adhesive here and down here and not where it's gonna show. All right, so I'm going to take and put some adhesive. And you'll see when I do that what I mean. And then where did I want this again? Okay, up near these stems, I think. See, this is why we use seal, because seal doesn't do this to us. We sometimes have to restart it, but at least it doesn't do that. Oops, and I just put it where I didn't want it. That's okay. My oops is your gain because now you see what you'll see why I didn't want to do that. See it's, but you also see that it's not as noticeable because of the embossing. If that was just plain it, he's uh, vellum, just without embossing, you would really notice that. All right, so let's put this on with dimensionals, which I left on the other table. Hang on, I think. Maybe they're right here. No, of course they're not. Be right back. Don't go away, you just have to walk across the studio. There they are. There we go. All right. I got out a fresh new pack, which meant I had three sheets, one for, well, almost one for each project. I'll have to probably open another one. So let's put some nice dimensionals on here. Don't ever feel like you need to be shy with your dimensionals because you don't want something arriving to somebody all squashed. Okay, I think that's enough. Anyway, definitely don't want that. That would not be good. Now you'll see what I'm going to do with my greeting piece. So I'm gonna have my seahorse down here. Now the greeting is gonna kind of go off the edge. So up here, it's too low, all right? So we gotta put a dimensional up at the top, but down here at the bottom where it's gonna sit here, we just want regular adhesive, whoa. So that way, it will be nice and supported on both edges. Okay, there we go. Yay!